One of the main weapons that a narcissist will use is confusion. And if you're new here, I, I'm actually a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. A lot of times a narcissist will either get mad at you or use a silent treatment as in retaliation for something that you do to them. And a lot of times what starts that rage or that silent treatment, you might not know. Like you might not have any earthly idea what you did to make that narcissist narcissist person either blow up on you or shut down on you and if you ask them like hey why don't you, can you at least tell me what i did they will look at you and say hey no i will not tell you what to, i'm not gonna tell you what i did if you love me and you really cared about me you would knew you would know what upsets me you can figure it out on your own if you're an adult if you love me and care about me you you will figure it out on your own exactly what you did wrong to make me go silent or make me get mad at you and that right there keeps you confused because you have no earthly idea what you did wrong sometimes and they will not ever tell you what you did wrong so it keeps you guessing i hope this helps what is going on beautiful people welcome to another episode of a narcissist explains i am self-aware diagnosed narcissist lee hammock and i use my platform on social media to raise awareness for npd get more people into therapy and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder um this series is dedicated to making my tiktoks and my youtube shorts longer they are 60 seconds or less this is gonna be longer than 60 seconds let's get it so the one you just watched was about how a narcissist uses confusion to keep you like how a narcissist uses confusion to control you because if you cannot peg what a narcissist is talking about if you cannot peg what they mean, if you if they make you question a little bit, a microcosm of their story, if you question any bit or piece of their story, or if they can get you to agree to anything that they are saying, you lose. Point blank. And if you choose to stay, you lose. That's just point blank, period. How The easiest way I can put it right there, y'all. This is the simplest, most easy, efficient way that I can put it. If you, if you decide to stay with a narcissistic person, after they confuse the, the bejesus out of you, after, if you know, you know the truth. Like if you, let's say you catch a person cheating, your toxic narcissistic person, whatever cheating, you present them screenshots. You have the utmost evidence. Like I saw a story, matter of fact, I can give you a good example. I saw a story on my Facebook page, right? I literally saw a story on my Facebook page under one of my posts. The lady said, uh, she's like, I, uh, I was, I'm, she's like, I'm single, but my best friend was dating this guy and I was on the dating app and I saw him. I saw his profile. I saw this. I saw that. She told me if I ever saw him on there to uh, send her, let her know, and she would break up with him. So I let her know immediately, immediately, like a best friend. She, instead of just leaving him, she gave him a chance to explain himself. And he said that he was only on there for the, the previous weekend and he forgot to delete it because she had him confused. She had him confused about where their relationship was going so he didn't feel safe and comfortable in the relationship anymore. He wanted to protect himself just in case that she decided to leave. So I think she, the friend thought it was her fault that he was on the app because he confused her and made it feel like it was her fault. And now, guess what happened? Of course, guess what happened? They're not friends anymore. He's like, well, your friend is trying to ruin our relationship. You don't need to talk to her anymore. The point where like, you, you, you get caught up in situations like that where you get confused and like she, she, she was clearly confused. Cut her off, cut, now you don't have a friend. That's how isolation works. So in a few years, it, it's, in, it's inevitable. In a few years, when this person is begging, pleading, crying to get her friends back, and they say no because you'll e you'll easily replace me for a per a, a, a man or a woman, you're gonna lose more than what you need. You just are. You really, really are. So that's why I tell people all the time: you need to, like if a narcissist can get you a little bit confused, if they can make you question your own actions a little bit, if they can make you question yourself a little bit, you're going to lose. I promise you that. You have to stand, if you have, that's why I tell you, if you have proof, positive evidence of, of enough that you need to leave this person, you do not give them a chance to explain themselves because expl explanations will either end in them making you feel guilty or either end in them gaslighting the sting, the, the gaslighting the, the feet off, the socks off of you and making you, leaving you confused and maybe apologizing to them and still staying in this toxic relationship where you're unhappy. You're not happy. I don't, you're not happy. I don't care what y'all say. There is no way you can catch a person cheating on you. I saw, again, I talked to a, I talked to a girl, I talked to another woman, y'all, and she, this is another story. She she said she went on a trip with her kids. She had, they have three kids together. They've been married for a year. Uh, they had been married for a year, but they had three, they've been together for a long time. She goes on a trip. He doesn't know that she installed like a, a nanny cam or something for the nannies. He on he on nanny cam like literally clapping his boss's cheeks, and somehow she gave him a chance to explain himself. And somehow he's like, oh the, the, yeah yeah something happened. You you had caused me to do this and this and confused her. 
they're still together. I'm like, what in the world? Y'all, stop get. I know kids and stuff involved, but like, I just don't like. I don't want to get it. People always people some people people come to my page and try to like, Lee, I really pity you that you really can't feel real true love. I like I don't want that type of the that type of stuff that y'all think love is. I don't want that because that stuff like it hurts and it makes it's embarrassing a lot of times. That's embarrassing. You get you get on the nanny camera. What's going on? My on my blink my blink camera. You see your husband or your wife in there clapping cheeks with somebody else. You see it to your eyes to the point where you see it. You record it. It's saved to your little cloud. You send them the video. They immediately go to the cloud, delete it, and question make you question yourself. What are you talking about? What video? What did you just send me? Now the video is gone. <laughs> now the video is gone. Well, you may be whatever whatever happened. They didn't. They admit to it. They confuse you. Stop letting like, y'all. You know what the truth is. When you engage with people, when you engage with toxic people that make you feel crazy, they're going to do that. Gaslighting is the tool of the narcissistic person to just keep you dancing around, bouncing around, off of your feet. Keep you off of your, keep you unbalanced. Because they can keep you unbalanced. If they can keep you unbalanced, they can control you. If they can trigger you, they can control you. If they can confuse you, they can control you. That's why I tell people, write stuff down. The best way to do this type of stuff is don't engage. Of course, if you have proof, you don't need to engage. Take it and do what you will. If you're going to stay, what's the point of stay? If you're going to stay, what's the point of you presenting that? Oh, I, I'm watching you. Just so you know, I saw you, I saw you cheat on me, but I'm watching you. So just so you know, I'm, I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to stay. What's the point? They're going to just get better so you won't watch them no more. Now you can't see them. That's what I'm saying. What's the point? Like, what is it? Is it happiness? Is it? I know the addiction is a trauma bond. Like, what is it? Cause it's, it's like, yeah, this is weighing on my it's weighing on my mind. I be hearing these stories. I'm just like, and the people talk to me and still go back, and I'm like, what are y'all doing? I want y'all to win. I'm gonna just start getting, getting this more. This the the further this year comes on, I'm gonna start getting a lot more meaner and more direct on these things, y'all. Cause like y'all gonna lose friends, family, life, the livelihood. You are gonna be so mad at the narcissist for being themselves. You know who they are, especially if you see my stuff and you know exactly who you're dealing with. And you choose to stay. You know exactly who you are. Well, you did. You cannot blame that person for being them. I'm blaming them for abusing me. You know now. You know now. You can put an end to it. You have the power to put an end to it. Stop putting yourself down and making yourself feel weak. You're stronger than what you think you are. But I can say that all I want to. But it doesn't matter if you don't believe it. It really doesn't matter if you do not believe it. You have to believe that you're stronger than what you, what, I th what you think you are. You have to take your strength to take your power, or you're going to raise kids in an un unhealthy, sad environment. Your kids going to grow up and be mad at you. They'll be like, they'll be mad at you. You're like, we know, we know dad was toxic, but you decided to stay in there, and you held us in that, in that toxic situation. We knew you were unhappy. We saw the abuse. We saw that. You still stayed, and now we got abused, too. Instead of getting abused... 30 40 percent of the time or mentally whatever happened we got it a hundred percent of the time because you didn't want to leave i'm telling y'all stop engaging that's your biggest power stop don't engage with a narcissistic person you, you're you're you when you engage you lose i promise you there's no point like when you engage like i'm gonna go argue about you cheating on me why what's the point of arguing they're gonna gaslight you put you down make you make you feel guilty for it and then they're going to make you feel guilty for it, confuse you. And then if you don't leave, they're going to do it again. They just are. Listen to Yellow Pain song. Yellow Pain, like yellow, the color pain. Yellow Pain. It's called a song called Once You Cheat. It's the most powerful, one of the most powerful songs about manipulation. Once you cheat, you always cheat. You just get better at it. You just get better at it. Yo, only apology is consistent changed behavior. It just is. That's the only apology you should accept. It's consistent change behavior. Don't accept, like, y'all just, oh, I'm sorry. And you take them back. They said sorry, but nothing changes. Nothing changes, but nothing changes, y'all. You just, I know I got off topic a little bit, but, like, y'all, I had, it's just, y'all know I'll go, I'll go for my rants. I had to rant that one out, because it it's on my mind, y'all. That stuff's just in my heart. And I just, like, you know, I don't like taking in other people's emotions. That's why I get kind of tired of doing it sometimes. I'm just like, oh. I miss doing real estate. Well, I'm going back to my real estate. I'm going to start doing less videos, y'all. I can't engage with some of this stuff. I'm just like, ugh. It blows my mind. It really does. <laughs> and I know people are going to like, Lee, well, you're a narcissist. You do this type of stuff. And the way my mind works, I'm just like, if we do this type of stuff and you stay, are you not okay with it? That's how the mind works. 
This is how the narcissist mind works. If they do this stuff and they talk you off the point, they confuse you, they think you're okay with it. You just agree with them. It's okay to cheat on you. It's okay to cheat? Cool. Gotcha. Thanks. I want y'all to win. Because I feel like I'm winning. I feel like I'm winning against my narcissism. I feel like I'm winning against NPD. Am I still a narcissist? Yes. Am I cured? No. I just feel like I'm winning a battle because I come on, I can come out here and talk to y'all openly and be me, be myself, and have my own strength and my own power. I can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> you can. Don't stand in your truth. Write stuff down. Record conversations. When they try to gaslight you or manipulate you, write stuff down. Save screenshots. Record this stuff for your own protection, for your own sanity. Please, y'all. Stand in your truth. Take your power back. Flex on them. <laughs> You're not confused. You're not crazy. Mr. Hill, this is out. Peace.